Hello everyone, hope you are doing well and welcome to the fifth episode of ETFK Fun Day. Today we'll be talking about how to buy and sell ETF. In the earlier episodes, we have talked about passive investing, we have talked about what is an ETF, ETF versus index funds and how ETF works. So in case you have any queries on those issues, just do go back and check out our previous episodes. Now ETF is a very simple product in terms of buying and selling and it provides multiple avenues for transactions unlike mutual funds or index funds. So there are two main ways an investor can buy or sell ETF. One method is to buy and sell ETF directly with the AMC and unlike index funds or mutual funds whenever you are transacting in ETF you will get the NAV which is around the real time net asset value of the ETF. So for example if the yesterday's closing of the ETF was 100 rupees and the market is down by 1% by 12 noon you will typically get the net asset value for your purchase which is around 99 rupees. Now I'll t tell you how this is different and how this will vary from the way you are buying or selling ETF. So as I mentioned the first method is you come directly to the AMC and buy or sell ETF but importantly you can only do that in the basket size and we touched base what does a basket size mean in the previous episode. So each AMC defines the minimum quantum in which you have to come if you want to buy or sell ETF directly with the AMC. For example in case of Nifty 50 ETF typically it is around 75 lakh or let's say 50,000 units or a 1 lakh unit whatever the quantum in terms of unit the AMC has mentioned in its SID or scheme documents. So let's say today you want to deploy or buy uh, the basket size simply fill in the application form transfer the money in the fund account and the AMC will create the fresh ETF units for you by deploying that money in the underlying market. For example if you are talking about Nifty 50 ETF the AMC will buy all the 50 stocks in the same proportion and whatever the new units are created will be credited in your DMAT account. It can be done on a same day or typically it can also be done on a T plus 1 basis. And hence in this case the NAV which you are getting will be based on the price at which your money is deployed in in the market. So for example going back to the 12 noon scenario when the market was down by 1% if you have, would have transferred the money at 12 noon but the AMC deploys the money in the market let's say at 12.15 and takes around 5 minutes to deploy the, deploy the entire quantum your NAV will be representative or capturing the market which was there between 12.15 and 12.20 which can be bit away from let's say 99 rupees of expected NAV when you transferred the money. Same case in case of redemption directly with the AMC you can only do it in the basket size you have to fill in the application form transfer the units in the AMC account and as soon as the money is cited as soon as the application form is there the AMC will sell or extinguish the units by selling the underlying stocks which are representative of that basket and this is how you can transact directly with the AMC in case of ETF. Second very important avenue which is not there in case of index funds and which is not there in case of mutual funds and which make ETF very competitive is the possibility of buying ETF directly on the exchange just like stocks. 
So as I mentioned in the previous session that ETF basket is subdivided into multiple smaller units and each of these units reflect the underlying index performance and these units are listed on stock exchange. It can be listed on NSC, BSC or both and you can go on the exchange and buy these ETF units in any quantum. See I mentioned that in case of AMC you can only come in the basket size which let's say in case of Nifty 50 can be around 75 lakh rupees but on the exchange you can buy Nifty 50 ETF even a single unit at a price of around just rupees 150 or whatever the unit per unit price of that ETF is and this transaction is similar like stocks you can go to your broking account search the scheme name select whatever quantum you want to buy and place the order and get the ETF units again in your DMAT account you can do this while buying also and you can do this while selling also I'll be covering more nuances and will be going into more detail on how you can buy or sell ETF unit on exchange and what are the important factors which you should note and focus on while doing these transactions in the next episode. So do stay tuned and watch out for our next episode which will be talking about how to do transactions in ETF on the exchange. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.